It's really hard to breathe. My eyes was burning, my nose was just running. It's just, I started sweating. It was just so bad. Yeah, there's a reason I walk like this. I walk like this. I just in the video, I don't edit my pics. I work for it. I'm on my ship. And when I'm walking by, What's up, everybody? This is your girl Bree back with my part two to my last video that I promise y'all I will make for those of you that had more questions and stuff. Um, I appreciate y'all for even reaching out to me. A lot of y'all reached out to me on Instagram, so I appreciate that. I'm just happy that y'all got to I got to answer a lot of y'all's questions on Instagram and stuff. So thank you for reaching out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I want y'all to know what y'all got to know before y'all go into the boot camp. My last video, I said everything that y'all need to know, which is what the eleven general orders, the Sailor's Creed all that good stuff um so make sure y'all know that that's important um i can recite the sailor's creed i want me to say it for y'all i got y'all i got y'all okay so this is the sailor's creed i am a united states sailor i will support and defend the constitution of the united states of america and i will obey the orders of those appointed over me i represent the fighting spirit of the navy and those who have gone before me to defend freedom and democracy around the world i proudly serve my country's navy combat team with honor courage and commitment i am committed to excellence and the fair treatment of all so that's the Sailor's Creed. So make sure y'all know that. Um, know the word from word. That Sailor's Creed. Um, somebody asked me, do they need to know the chain of command? You know what? That is very important. That's a good question because I remember having to learn that in boot camp. And it's not really easy to remember because it's a lot of people that you have to remember in order. So make sure y'all know y'all chain of command, chain of command, chain of command. Um, somebody asked me, how can you make rank in boot camp? Um, I'm pretty sure I answered that in the last video, but I got y'all. I got y'all. So... Making Rake and Boot Camp, like I told y'all, get those leadership roles. Become an RPOC. If you RPOC, nine times out of ten, ten times out of ten, you're going to be ranked up. So if you come in at E1, you're going to leave out at E2. If you come in at E2, you're going to leave out at E3. If you go in at E3, you can't rank up in Boot Camp because I went in at E3 because I had college credit. So I went straight to E3. But you can't, if you have an E3, you can't rank up to E4 in Boot Camp. That's something that you have to do out in the fleet. But yes, so for those of you that want to rank up, Get a leadership role, whether it's RPOC. RPOC is the number one. That's like guarantee you're going to get ranked up. But RPOC and then, um, you know, like I said in the last video, head PO, laundry PO, um, all that good stuff. So the person that sings the cadences, I can't think of the name, y'all. I'm sorry. Yeah, you can rank up then that person as well. Someone also asked me, once you go into boot camp, do you get all your stuff? So, yeah, when you make, when you pull up the boot camp, you get off the bus and stuff that same night. In that same night, and I'm gonna give you it's more detailed of that night when you in my last video. So, if you're more interested into what's going to happen once you get off the bus and stuff, it's in my last video. So, make sure y'all go tune in to that one, and then you're also going to go to the next exchange where they give you stuff for like your hair, um, like toothpaste. You can get all that kind of stuff toothpaste, brush, anything that you need, uh, hair gel um for those of you that like got to be glued because yes yeah you can get some of that lay down those edges and here goes a good example of how your buns should look okay like some people have to do donut buns but this isn't a donut bun okay so and it just has to be neat so y'all get the picture and make sure y'all bun is very neat make sure y'all edges are laid now nah, i'm playing that one gotta be laid but yeah just make sure just make sure it's neat looking it's you know it look like you actually put effort into doing your hair because some people mm -mm. i be like girl where is you going <laughs> so i'm a ps which is a personnel specialist i um i'm working like admin so i'm doing paperwork if somebody if something is wrong with somebody's pay they'll come to me and i'll fix it for them fix any problems that they have somebody's transferring i do check-ins just that's what ps's do there's different types of ps's so yeah um, I'm a PS. I do admin. Um, so what are some good rates or some interesting rates for me in my opinion? Okay, because that's what people ask. Rates that are in, good in my opinion, I would say, I would say PS, which is my rate. Um, I would say a corpsman, which is a HM, even though it's kind of hard. To, okay, so it's kind of hard to make rank in that rate, but it just really just depends on you. Um, they have exams. So you gotta do good on the exams in order to rank up. And you gotta actually come to work, show up to work, do what you gotta do, be on time, and and, and work hard. And you can get mapped. Mapped is when you don't have to take the exam to rank up. Um, your chain of command ranks you up just from your hard work and your work ethic. So, um, yeah, so HM, PS, um, AZ, YN, those are good rates. 
Yeoman is like another, YN is Yeoman, which is another type of paperwork rate. Or you be on the computer, it's like office rate. Um, it's another rate in admin. So it's real similar to PS's. AZ, AZ is like, it's like an aircraft Yeoman actually. So they are the ones who like jot down what's missing or what does it, what's on the aircraft that needs to be looked at or fixed or what's needed. Um, I'm, I'm an easy job person, okay? I don't like to do all that extra hands-on, getting dirty, um, think too hard type of stuff. I'm a very easy person because I'm a girl, so yeah, I like easy stuff. So that's why I prefer those rates because they're easy rates. Um, LS as well, LS a logistics specialist. That's a good rate to have. And I got another question about the gas chamber. So the gas chamber, I told y'all about my last video. Um, I cried when I did that. The gas chamber is just, yeah, I told y'all, y'all put on the mask and then when y'all get into the room, they they let the gas out and stuff and then you gotta take it off and you gotta say a sentence. So basically you they make you hold your hand under your mouth and your nose and um, you hold your, you take your mask off your face and they make you say a sentence. So the sentence you'll be like, um, my last name is Hunt. So they'll make you say Airman Hunt Division I was in Division 952, so Division 952. They make you say your last name and then your hunt. Um, they make you say your last name and then your division. So I had to say, Emory Hunt, Division 952. I had to say it. Once you finish that sentence, you get to leave out. So, y'all, it's really hard to breathe. My eyes was burning. My nose was just running. It's just, I started sweating. It was just so bad. Like, yeah, it was kind of. But, I mean, some people took it real good. I didn't. Some people, I, I didn't. That's all I'm going to say. I didn't. <laughs> But some people was able to handle it. Um, so as soon as the faster you say it, the faster you get out. Oh, I got questions about inspections in boot camp. So inspections, you're gonna, in every uniform that they give you, in this uniform, um, and all of your other uniforms that they give you, you're gonna have an inspection. So an inspection is when they're gonna give you like a week or two to prepare for it. So they're gonna show y'all exactly how it needs to look, exactly how, they're gonna teach you how to do your bow tie. They're gonna teach you how to do everything. They're gonna teach you how everything should look. Shining them boots, boy, that was just so, Anyways, yeah, so you gotta shine your boots. You gotta make sure everything is just perfect. Yeah, so for the inspections, they have somebody coming to y'all division, not one of your RDCs. Um, they have somebody come to y'all division and y'all are, everybody is lined up in front of their racks. So y'all gonna be standing in front of y'all racks and then the person that's inspecting y'all is gonna go around the room and look at everybody's uniform. And if you get three hits, you fail. So yeah, as I remember, you get three hits, you fail. Yeah, I never fail, thank God. But if you fail, if you get three hits, you just have a, a reinspection. And think if you like fail the reinspection, you get ass mode. Cause yeah, so something like that. So just try to pass, like, try to pass those inspections. So be ready for that. And also, um, so for those of y'all that was asking um about quarantining before boot camp and stuff. I didn't catch that wave of coronavirus when I was in boot camp. I had already graduated boot camp before all this stuff even popped off. But what I've heard is you are going to quarantine in a hotel for two weeks before you go into boot camp. Um, and people was asking me how would I be able to work out. Hey, y'all gotta do what y'all gotta do. So if y'all have to work out in y'all room, do some sit-ups, run in place, jumping jacks, uh, push-ups, whatever y'all gotta do, do that because yeah, y'all don't want to lose y'all fit. Y'all don't want to lose what y'all have gained or prepared for. It, so make sure y'all just stay active. Honestly, people was asking me what they feed y'all. I, I honestly don't know, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna feed y'all good because they fed you. They fed me good. They fed us good in boot camp. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna feed y'all good in that hotel. Um, I told y'all in my last video. I told y'all I went from 120 pounds to 147 pounds. I gained mad weight, so I was eating really good in uh, boot camp. Like I said, be mentally prepared, be mentally strong. When they get in your face, when they yell at y'all, when they be mean, when they curse y'all out, just take it like a G, cause y'all some G's up in this thing, period. I came in undead. Um, being undead, it just shows you, you get to, it's, it's really, I feel like being undead really helps you see all the other jobs before you pick up a rate. Because you get to see all the other rates and you get to be more prepared with your decisions. So you can choose what you want because you see but how how they do it so don't be discouraged because you're undead if you feel like you scored too low on your ASVAB don't be discouraged about that either the overall your overall score is basically divided into the line score so they go by line score just before you take the test just try to take make sure you have a good breakfast that morning and really make sure you study for the ASVAB that's not nothing that you just want to just oh I'm just going to take it you know unless you just graduated school or something you know all the 
academics is still in your mind, but if not, then that's something that you definitely want to study for and prepare for. You want to score good enough to get what you want to get. Do I have to take the vaccine before I go to boot camp? <laughs> As of now, no, you do not. Um, no telling what they're going to try to pull off in the future. But as of now, no, you don't have to take the vaccine. Right, so another thing that I want to touch bases on, do not wait too long to start running. Because if you do that, y'all, y'all going to be like, y'all going to be looking crazy for real. Um, Let me say, y'all, I ran track, okay? I ran track all through high school. All right, so I ran track all through high school. And I went, I did two years of college and ran track. After that, I went to I went to the Navy. I joined boot camp. So when i tell y'all my time that i had to run was like 14 minutes when i tell you i barely even made that and i was still running it's just because i was a sprinter i wasn't a distance runner so that running but distance running is not as easy as that stuff may sound for real you really want to get started you want to start like i would say start like two months before you even go to boot camp a month just something a good amount of time um, people ask me did i cry during boot camp i actually did not cry um, it's been times where I felt real sad or I felt down or I felt alone. I remember everybody's in there is going through the same thing that you're going through. Everybody's away from home. Everybody's getting yelled at. Everybody got to do the same exact thing that you're doing. So you're not alone. When you go to boot camp, don't be wearing fake eyelashes. Don't go to be cute because you will get clowned. Them artists do not care. They will really clown you in front of everybody. They will embarrass you like. Oh, you told, you came here to look cute? Who you looking good for? Oh, oh for real? Oh, you ain't cute. You ain't all that. Take that shit off. If you put braids in your hair, make sure the braids are able to last throughout the whole boot camp experience. So if you put braids in your hair, you wanna you wanna keep those braids in throughout the whole two months. You don't wanna just take them out. Cause you're gonna be looking crazy if you in boot camp trying to take off some braids. I'm just tell y'all that right now. I can go to church on Sunday. I can praise the Lord. Now in church is the the main place where you can just be yourself. You're not under so much restrictions. They not anybody in your face watching you like you in church you get to praise the Lord. Hallelujah Oh, y'all ain't know I can sing though, huh? Yeah, don't feel alone because everybody there is going through the same thing like I said already. Y'all not gonna get along with everybody. Y'all got people that think they in charge of y'all, that think they running something. Y'all got people that think they your mama, that think they your daddy. Like y'all got people there that's just, that's normal when you put a group of females together, what do you expect? They always get the division and trouble, bro. It's always that one person. It's always somebody like, Y'all got people that's just annoying, for real, like mad annoying. Y'all got people that don't know how to clean up after they self. Like, people be trifling, y'all. People be trifling, for real. Just tell them about they self and keep them moving. For the long run, though, it's it's very helpful. Like, it pays for your schooling. I mean, you get respect You get respect everywhere you go. If you have a uniform, you can be walking through the airport. People gonna pay respect to you. Uh, you can be in a restaurant with your uniform on. People gonna pay for your meal. Rock on, dude. Yeah, but, um, um, so yeah, I covered like a lot that I could cover. So if y'all have any more questions for real, y'all need to let me know. I will definitely answer them for y'all again. So those who reach out on Instagram, thank you for reaching out to me. Thanks for asking your questions. I hope I answered most of them for the most part. Um, um, no question is a dumb question. So for real, ask me anything, literally. So, yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Really help your girl because I'm trying to get up there with the big dog. <laughs> if y'all like this video, y'all don't even have to ask questions. Y'all can hit me up in the DM and be like, Oh, girl, I like that video. I saw you, boo, okay? You did your thing on there. Um, if y'all want to know anything else about the Navy, like not about boot camp, but something else, ask. I will answer those for y'all. All right? All right, peace out, y'all. Have a good one. Bye. Yeah,